Hello, this is Calvin. Today I want to take you through uh, automation of Excel to generate report cards and numerous report cards for a class. So you find teachers after we have sat for those exams, we normally prepare report cards. Some of us prepare report cards manually and it's a daunting task. So today I want to give you a very simple way with which you can uh, prepare uh, or you can uh, rate report cards for your class. So I want to welcome you. Stay tuned. Uh, when you look at this, uh, when you look at this particular sheet, you are able to see a very nicely designed form. So this one is the dashboard for this simple system in uh, Excel. So you are able to see uh, buttons here for some particular class so from one mark sheet from two mark sheet three mark sheet from four mark sheet those are the uh, mark sheets for those classes so when you click them when you click those buttons you will be directed or linked to sheets where marks are being entered then on this other side we have some information on that school so you put in the name of the school code postal address email motto and so on then down here you will be required to put in the exam if it's cut one or exam one put there uh, term maybe term one term two term three you simply select there is a drop down list here which you can see you select the term there and then the year you put the year here then on the far right hand side here we have the the class teachers so you put the class teachers for those classes then now let me take you to uh, the mark sheet for form 1 so that we can see how those mark sheets look like. So this is the mark sheet is the area where you will be entering marks. For example, let me enter mark for this student here. So we have, for example, 90 in English. So you can see as I enter marks, grades are all, uh, also uh, automatically done. So you can see as I keep on entering, grades are uh, also put automatically. You can see that is done automatically. So you just enter marks for each student or each subject. So remember from ones, from two, they can take a maximum of 11. So you can see I've already entered marks for uh, that student and you can see already the ranking is already ranked position two. So when we continue entering marks, I can continue to the next student, so uh, 45, 67, so you can see, uh, we can see what's happening there. So you are able to see the system uh, adjust appropriately and it gives uh, those grades. So we can look at this, you can see already this person has already been ranked position three. So as you do that, uh, the total points uh, total marks, the grades, and the ranking is done automatically. So that's one you don't touch. That one is done automatically. Then, uh, so now let me show you a class list with all marks. So form three. So form three, you can see all marks are there and rankings have been done. Everything has been done. So we can, for the purposes of demonstration, we can use this one. So this system can generate automatically uh, report cards, it can generate the grade analysis, can generate uh, subject champions for each subject, it can generate subject ranking, uh, top 10 and bottom 10, graphical analysis, all that. And it can also prepare a broadsheet. Remember this one is just mark entry area, so there's a broadsheet. So let me start by preparing grade analysis. So when you click that, it will be automatic. You can see automatic grade analysis have been generated. So there is no A. We don't have any student with A minus, B plus zero, B zero, B minus two, and so on and so forth. There's uh, two students with X. Then the mean grade is this one, and the, the, mean, the mean for that class is this, and then the grade for that class is that. So you can see that one has been done uh, automatically without your effort. Then we can also view uh, the subject champion so that we know each the, the, the one leading in a particular subject. So English, 
this students are slain with a score of 70. And this position 6 in the class. Kiswahili, that person has slain with this one, position 8 in the class. So it will give you all the sub subject champions in each uh, subject. As in, you have 11 subjects. So each subject with the, with the leading is given automatically. So that's again generated without any effort, without any of your effort. So let us also look at a subject ranking. So subjects are ranked in order of a, a mean score. So you look at this one here is the position one because it has a mean score of 5.813. So it's position one. Then position two is a geography with a mean score of five. Position three is a physics with a mean score of 4.786. So they will be ranked according to the mean score. And again, their mean grades are also given here. So that's again is done for you without any effort. Then we can also look at top 10 and bottom 10 uh, in the class. So this class, these are the bottom, uh, these are the top 10, the position one, this one with that mark, and the position 10, this girl with that mark. Again, these are the bottom 10, uh, starting from here. This is the most bottom student. Then it runs up to, up to the 10th one from bottom. So you can see, again, that one has been generated for, for us without any effort. So all that Excel can do, if you, if you automate in the Excel, it can do a lot of things. Then you can see, we can also look at graphical analysis of a grade distribution. So these are the grades, and these are the number of students scoring those grades. So A, A grade, you realize there's nobody with A grade, there's nobody with A minus, there's nobody with B plus, there's nobody with the B plane. But the, when you come to B minus, you can see that two students scoring B minus. And also C uh, plus, there are two students. So, and so on and so forth. Uh, up to this end. So, this is graphical representation of grade distribution for that class. Automatically, without your effort. Then, we can also look at, uh, we can uh, look at uh, the, 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 the broadsheet. So let me click this one. We see how the broadsheet is being generated. So you can see. Oh, oh wow. You can see the process is on. It's not yet complete. So now you can see broadsheet has been generated for that class, which can be printed and then uh, given to students or taken to wherever it's needed. So that is broadsheet. Then we can also generate report cards and even view report cards. So let's click this. Then we are going to be directed to this page. So you can see uh, a well-designed report card here with everything. Uh, so if you look at this report card, which has already been generated automatically, everything is there. The scores of the students, the grades of the students, and the teachers. And the teachers uh, taking those subjects and uh, the position in the class out of that grade is that. Then total marks out of 700 points is that. The graphical representation in uh, of uh, marks in those subjects also done down here. And then the class teacher comment and the principal comment automatically done without your effort. So class teacher is this, principal's comment is this. So that is all automatically without any effort made. So this one can be pretend and uh, given to the student. So you can view all of them. When you click here, you select admission number. You can see when we select the, the change, you can see when you select this, another student. So you can view all report cards for that class. So that one you can view one by one. So apart from viewing one by one, we can print the, all the report cards for that class at once one after the other. So, so long as you are connected to the printer, the report cards will be printed automatically. So let me click uh, print report slips or report cards. So when you click that one, you can see, you can see now printing is on. You can see it's uh, printing uh, one by one. You can see one by one. So you, when you see them changing, you see the names changing, that means uh, printing is taking place one after the other. So now it is the turn for this. Now it is the turn for this to be printed. So you can see all the report cards are being printed. 
So it will print as you watch, you remain seated, watch all the report cards being printed for you automatically. They have been generated for you automatically. <clears throat> they are being printed for you automatically. Your work is to pick them and give them to students. So you can see we can automate Excel to do big things for us as teachers. So next time I'll give you tutorial on how you can automate now that you can you have seen that it's possible to use excel in uh, generation of report cards and other things in examinations now i will tell you how to automate what you do how you automate excel to perform such a task so uh, colleagues that is it isn't it wonderful subscribe to my channel so that whenever i post another video you'll be able to be notified otherwise uh, thank you for watching and i welcome you uh, for the next video thank you and uh, stay safe